My reflection in the mirror started moving on its own, mimicking my every move perfectly. But when I tried to step away, it kept going, revealing a sinister grin. I couldn't sleep, feeling like I was being watched. When I turned on the night vision camera, I saw dozens of pairs of glowing eyes surrounding my bed. I stumbled upon an old well in the forest and decided to peer inside. The darkness seemed endless until a voice whispered, Join us. In the old cemetery, I noticed fresh footprints leading to a grave. As I read the name, I realized it belonged to someone who had died just yesterday. I woke up to find my entire family gathered around my bed, their lifeless eyes fixed upon me. Then, I saw myself lying motionless among them. And I realized I was dead. While walking in the woods, I stumbled upon a clearing filled with mutilated animal corpses. Among the carnage, I noticed a note saying, You're next. I found a box hidden in my basement, filled with photographs of missing children. As I looked closer, I recognized my own face in one of the pictures, labeled Found. My reflection in the mirror started aging rapidly, withering away before my eyes. Terrified, I tried to escape, but the mirror refused to release my decaying image. I found an old journal that belonged to my great-grandfather. As I read through the entries, I realized he was documenting his descent into cannibalism and madness. In the abandoned hospital, I discovered a room covered in strange symbols and bloodstains. Suddenly, the symbols began to glow, and the walls started closing in on me. I received a text message from my deceased best friend, saying, I miss you. As I replied, another message came through. You shouldn't have buried me alone. My daughter brought home an antique doll from the thrift store. Every night, I hear it whispering in her room, telling her secrets that only I know. Secrets I can't escape. I awoke to the sound of scratching beneath my bed. When I looked over the edge, I saw my own severed hand reaching out, desperately trying to pull me under. As I explored the abandoned asylum, I found a room filled with drawings depicting my deepest fears and insecurities. Each drawing seemed to come to life before my eyes. I discovered a hidden passage in my house, leading to a room covered in mirrors. When I stepped inside, the reflections didn't match my movements, revealing distorted faces. 